Hey guys, welcome to a little unboxing video for a Zoom H6 that I just got, as you can see, from Sweetwater. Um, I like them a lot, very reliable. And um, so, this is a little bit uh, a tool for the musician, for musicians wanting to record live sound or journalists. Um, and of course for DSLR shooters, uh, which you know, the zoom stuff has been used lately a lot by DSLR shooters, and it's great. Um, today we're going to discuss a little bit more the musician's angle on this. So um, that's why I ordered it, uh, because as you can see, see here, um, you have the ch interchangeable capsule. So that allows me to record up to six tracks at the same time when I'm going to a studio or a rehearsal. Uh, I think that's fantastic. Or you can just record the room with these two and then have direct input inputs on the other four. So six tracks, I find that pretty useful. I used the Zoom H4n before, where I used two extra tracks. It would root the bass drum usually and the bass um, separately into the Zoom, and then the rest would be recorded with the room. And that sounds, sounds really great. I got some great results with that. And um, then I saw the Zoom H6 came out. So I was like, whoa, fantastic, great. That's exactly, um, that's exactly what I've been looking for. So it comes with a case here. Um, I like that. That's very professional looking. Let's see what's in that case. Feels like Christmas. So there's the Zoom itself, the core unit. Um, it comes with four batteries, as it seems. Four. Um, we have the, the wind filter, which is great. Also, sort of as a pop filter if you would just use it well I'll get to that in a second so this is the different capsule so this is the stereo capsule the stereo capsule is quite a lot bigger uh, the microphones than the ones found on the zoom h4n so that indicates that there's some serious microphones in there for that type of recorder um, and then I have here uh, the more directional capsule uh, that would be great if you um, you know um, use it as a for podcasting and such things or even guitar amps where you don't want a stereo uh, source but something more direct and if you use it with something like this with a pop filter um, you can go a little bit closer and it filters the P's and the you know the harder uh, the harder sounds that can ruin your um, your recordings. So let's get this guy out here. Feels very light without the microphones uh, and the batteries, of course. I would say probably on par with the Zoom H4n, but that's before anything is mounted. So there she is. I think that looks fantastic. Um, I was a little bit worried that it might be too big on some of the pictures. It was quite bigger than the Zoom H4n. And it is bigger, no question about it, especially with the contraptions on there. Um, now, the first feature right away, and that's why I bought it. And again, this is just an unboxing video, so you see what's in it. Um, you get an impression, are these, um, these, these dials, when I have like external sound sources, I want to be able to adjust them very quickly without having to go to a side, you know, like a button where it goes plus, 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 plus. It's, it's kind of hard to reach, at least it was. Always made me like, you know, not, it's not very intuitive. So that's a big improvement for me as a musician. Um, uh, and they say that, um, you know, from accidentally touching it, uh, it's sort of protected by these little uh, frames here on the, on the side. So we'll see that in due time. So let's see what happens, what does happen if we, oh, what else is in the box? Hold on, it's an unboxing video. So there's a, it comes with a micro SD card and a micro SD adapter. So the actual two gigabyte card that is promised is a SD card, micro SD card, which is cool, which is great. You can use that for other things. I have plenty of other um, SD cards. Um, so this might be coming useful for, you know, a cell phone or something like that if you haven't used it yet. And then it comes with a classic, this is a classic USB. What type of USB do we have in here? Yeah, standard, 
mini USB. So very compatible with with some phones and tablets, although it's not micro USB. But I have a bunch of these laying around the house as well. Well, this is about the size, maybe a little bit wider altogether than the Zoom H6, uh, than the Zoom H4n. But then, but that's without the capsules. Now, if you add the capsules, the capsules themselves are bigger. Here, the stereo mics, mic, it's bigger. Um, that has certainly increased the size. I hope that's a good thing. Generally, with microphones, it is. And what you can immediately notice is uh, those gain dials. They're direct. They're not uh, a digital button that you have to press and first select which input and then press use the same button so that's a dedicated gain button always good front facing um, so this is what I like to work with it makes my life a little bit easier uh, I like using this uh, like using the zoom h4n in a recording situation you know in a rehearsal I would normally go in on the zoom h4 with uh, you know stereo micing the whole room let's say a drum set and then you would use the kick drum and put it in a dedicated input um, because that never comes through, you know, sits solid if you just record stereo and then usually the bass direct. And that allows me a little bit of flexibility while mixing. But here now I have the stereo uh, mics and then I have four uh, dedicated inputs. That's a big game changer for me. And again, I'm looking at this today uh, from a musician's uh, perspective. Um, so here, uh, the way you mount this is you press together. Uh, those buttons, they hold it in place, make sure it faces, it's front facing, and then just slide it in, let go of the buttons, those pressy buttons, and there you go. Now, is that bigger than the Zoom H4n? You bet it is. It's heavier, it's bigger. Um, this contraption here now is about this big. The Zoom case was about just this big. So, in terms of, you know, just sticking it into your guitar bag, um, not so much anymore. It's gotten bigger, but the, the capabilities have increased by a lot. Um, you can use it as a six channel audio interface, now 24 bit and 96 kilohertz. The Zoom H4n worked as an audio interface as well, but only um, with 16 bits and 44 kilohertz in the audio interface mode. A, a big limitation. So this could depending on the latency how quickly you know the sounds that when you listen to yourself playing how quickly those sounds are played back if that works well uh, if that's DSP assisted then um, you could replace your audio interface theoretically with it um, I wouldn't hesitate because zoom has a good quality um, reputation so uh, I think we have about nine hours talking so far and we haven't even turned the unit on all right so where do you turn it on um, like the Zoom H4, and, and I'm seeing this for the first time. Uh, the Zoom H4n had this little switch on the side that you would pull down. I'm doing likewise here. Um, I already inputted my, my batteries. Let's see, and here it goes. I hope you guys can see this well. And here it asks me to do what? English, okay, select next. Um, Okay, so now in the Zoom we had H4, we had this dial pad here. What do I do here? I guess um, there's a button. Oh, same button here. So we're pressing next. So it asks me to put the year in. So the year is 2013. All right, that's good. That usually tells you when it was made. So 2013, legendary year for Zoom. So all right, I, I feel you guys are getting impatient on me. So let's just. Um, Let's just open one of these here. Let's open the stereo capsule. Um, and again, your knowledge on this is as, as good as mine. I can only tell you why I ordered it. So here's the connector here. So here's the microphones. They're now set to 90 degrees. And you can turn it and set it to 120 degrees as well. So here's, hope you're having a good look on at, at this, right? Um, and that's sort of like the Zoom H4n. Same thing, the only thing is that seems bigger. So bigger membranes, um, hopefully we'll, we're gonna get a better sound, an even better sound, because I really like the Zoom H4n. There's no, no question about it. So how does this mount? Well, I would assume that this goes in this direction, on in this direction, so we have the, the, the gain dials all here. So um, from what I read, this means you have to press these two buttons together 
so that inserts in here and that's what I'm doing and that worked very well so this is now mounted here you go there you go and then we take this off I think that's a great idea and then there's another uh, extender there's obviously the directional microphone that's great for DSLR guys less so for us musicians but there's also the additional core unit with two more line inputs so you could go out and make this a, a you know just a line recording thing um, you know direct from the mixing board or something like that but it's also working as a USB interface a six channel USB interface now I'm telling you what if the latency the monitoring latency is not too high. This could almost replace a, um, a you know, an audio interface on a computer. So again, uh, and the Zoom H4n was pretty good with that, but the Zoom H4n had the limitation only 16 bits and I believe 44 kilohertz in audio mode. This goes up to 24 and 96 kilohertz over USB 2.0. So that that's a full blown uh, interface. Great. So um, this opens up here okay now it takes four batteries ah uh -huh. used to take two batteries okay that's not so good so the unit is going to be even heavier but um, that's why they got around to have you know such a such a huge uh, increase over 20 hours in runtime so um, I'm putting in my any loops putting in the any loops so nobody says that an unboxing has to be strictly unboxing. We want to at least see this thing fire up, right? Okay, so let's turn this here um, so you guys can see it. So it came with these batteries here and I usually save them for something else like a, you know, like a digital clock on the wall or something. Something that lasts a very, very long time because something like this, you'll go through them like in a heartbeat. Um, I have my rechargeable batteries with a Lacrosse Technologies um, charger, which is really, really good because it also allows you to decharge the battery, it goes to the decharge cycle when you have a little bit left and then charges it, um, that keeps the batteries in optimum shape all the time. So I have four of these and I have a color, color coordinated, so I keep those together and I have about like 15 of those for all my needs and I, or 16 of those with my, you know, Mac keyboard, things like that. They, 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 they they fit, you know, like a, an Apple keyboard and they fit a trackpad and things like that. Um, they're double A sized, by the way. Uh, in the long run, definitely worth your, your money. So now um, I will be arming left and right here so the display comes to life a little bit. And then I have, as you can see, so I'm going to start recording here. Here's, here's the gains. I'm going to start recording now starting to turn up the volume here we go one two one two ninety four me on the set freaks on the floor the way about my name is too long to remember i could tell you now but we'll be here till next september huh. okay all right so here's one of the things i don't see the meters very well um it's i'm i know i'm getting close i'm i'm, I'm above minus 60 b um but okay so that's you know New York is not always better uh, first you know first uh, maybe they'll fix that in an update we have the chance to see like meters going that way but the color screen obviously is very very cool um, and I believe and if, if I have distortion which you have right now uh, that light starts blinking so pop 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 so and then you know you have to reduce it but overall the the, the, the big um, the big advantage of all of this here is that you have a gain that you can just adjust by feeling instead of toggling toggling that one button all right so let me turn that back off let's play and you can play it back now start recording now starting to turn up the volume here we go one two one two ninety four okay so when you play it back it comes back green that's very cool something the older zoom h4n still doesn't have or does not have um, and obviously that's going to be the same here with channel one two three and four um, so now let me power off the unit I'm not sure if I'm supposed to when cha when changing capsules um, powering off very quick too um, so let me take this off here and then we're going to put that more directional capsule on it and that could be great for guitar amps uh, that could be great for you know um, 
you know, miking a guitar or when you when you do like a podcast using it. It reminds me almost of these blue mikeys, of these blue microphones. So that's something I really need when I'm doing like something quick when I'm recording voice. Anyways, so let me pull that off. And I'm not sure if that's what it's intended for. So now we have this little spacey looking thing. Dun, 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 dun. Very cool. I like it. So let's turn back. Let's turn the unit back on. I'm already very happy. You see, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited about it. Um, at the boot time, is like immediate. Uh, the Zoom H4n takes so long to boot. That said, the Zoom H4n is a great unit. Um, I just updated with this because I need a lot of channels for some DSLR shooters that, that might want something lighter, m more mountable on their on, their, on top of their camera, the Zoom H4n might still be the better choice, okay? Because portability in that circumstances can be very important. But for me, this is better USB interface and for multi-tracking, uh, more options. And this is, you can't beat the system here. All right, so now um, let me arm those tracks again. And here is the input, depending on how I'm holding it, I'm sure I'm gonna get a different results. It's still, left and right here. So this is still a stereo microphone, but I assume that the pattern is more straightforward instead of 90 degrees or even uh, 180 degrees like on, like on these. Okay, so let's give it a test record. I'm gonna turn this on. Um, I don't see the meters holding it up like that to you, so forgive me if it starts clipping. Um, I'm gonna start recording here. Um, Let's see, okay, this should be recording. Here we go. So it's recording, great. And I will be increasing the gain. Here we go, increase the gain, increase the gain, increase the gain, here we go. Um, here we go, I'm clipping, that was too much. So without really looking at the display, I can, I can adjust my gain. Um, there are some limiter features built in. I'm not a big fan of, you know, digital limiters unless they're really before um, before the analog to uh, digital converter. That's where they make most sense because otherwise you're just reducing what you already have. Um, but that's, a, that's, you know, obviously that requires more outboard gear for speech recording. I think that's great. Otherwise, you know, just leave enough headroom um, because with 24 bits, even if you record at minus 12, anything between minus 12 and minus six, you know, is, uh, is, is a much, is equivalent to a very, very well, uh, strong signal on a 16 bit, uh, recording. So anyways, um, stop that and play it back. So uh, I'm able to operate this, this uh, Zoom uh, uh, H6 without you know looking at the screen much, and it's very intuitive. So for now, I would say very happy that I ordered this. Uh, let me turn it off. Uh, I hope it gives you some thoughts. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you won't be making a purchase based on this. I will keep you posted. I'm going to do some more recordings with it. Um, I'm going to put it back in the box. I believe it came like this. I'm not sure. Uh, see, I forget these things so quickly. Oh, this is how it goes. All right, so let me turn it back around towards you. Um, and this is where the pop filter went and the batteries, I guess. Um, yeah, who knows after the fact. But anyways, um, thanks for checking in. Thanks for letting me show you this new toy in the arsenal. I'm very happy. I'm excited. I'm going to use it. Um, and um, yeah, let's make some music. Massive Beats out. Thank you very much for watching.